Hey everybody, Tyler here from GetCheapy.com. Again, I apologize for the wind. It's always windy here in Tennessee. But this is going to be a basically my February update of my Jeep. And then wait till the end of the video and we got some big news coming. Some good news and it's kind of bad news. But um, So basically the few things I've done to it since I've had it. Um, one, uh, we've put on these um, BF Goodrun Mud Train TAs. Uh, and these also have the, I think they're... Yeah, they're Jeep JK Limited wheels. Um, they have the, they have a, you might be able to see back in there, we have a camera you see right there. They have a inch and a half wheel adapter on them. And then another thing I've done is I put um, bed line, the fenders here, which look really, really nice. They turned out really, really nice. Um, you see on the back here, I did it as well. That turned out nice and they're really, they, stay strong and haven't faded any so I've done that I was also put some stickers here a North Face sticker um, a Rough Country and a kicker uh, there since I have kicker speakers in here now um, so you see here more of the tire there I also painted this down here um, on the front um, one thing I've done is I put this mirror right here, uh, mirror relocation bracket. The only thing about this is on this passenger side, uh, it's hard to see out here. In fact, you can't even see it. So sometimes I move this up here when I'm going long distance trips, but when I'm just driving around town, I just sleep there since I can just look out the back. The other thing I've done to is put these KC lights on and actually painted these black because the symbol was white at one point. And then they have the Smitty built. Um, light mounts which worked out really really nice the paint's still in really good shape I love this green color you see right here I got this um, bumpy here which I don't even know who makes this I think it's actually made by Smitty Build it was there when I bought the Jeep but it's working out good right there on this side the only thing I've done is of course uh, bed line the lights and the mirror bracket there and then move on there's the tire more stickers there on the back part, I um, put this wheel back here and actually have another wheel adapter back there as well. So it fits in there really nicely. Uh, I did replace the top. I did that last month. The top on here before had just clear windows and it was really badly faded and stretched out. And I actually bought this off, off um, Craigslist for like 70 bucks. And it has tinted windows and it works out really nice. Um, the other thing I still haven't got fixed, but there's a crack in the windshield right here. I'm going to be getting that fixed hopefully soon once the insurance wants to pay for it. The inside, um, still, of course, interior. Um, of course, the um, I have not bedlined the floor yet. I still haven't just got around to it because it's like 80 something dollars for the kit, and so I just haven't taken the time. Um, so the interior is still the same, has leather seats, of course. Um, have a steering wheel cover right there. It's really nice. Um, right here I have the grip handles from RAN. I think I, either Rampage or Rugged Ridge. I can't remember. You can just check out the videos on that. Uh, let's see. I have just my police radar right there. Just simple, simple stuff. Um, I put in a dual audio uh, sound system. You can see the video on that as well, I think. Um, really, really nice radio. I didn't realize until just the other day it doesn't have a CD player. It has aux and USB, SD card, and all that stuff, but no CD, which is kind of funny. And here's the second switch panel, looking good right there. These are the lights from my KC's, and that's just, just another switch I had. I have a third one, but I never took the time to put it in. And then down here, I put in a second switch, or cigarette lighter there. And over here, I just have a USB little dongle thing right there for charging my phone and stuff. Um, everything's still the same here. Same in the glove box, let's see. The back seat's still the same. Um, here's the kicker speaker, you can see right there. They sound great. I was gonna get a one that, I think it's a kicker 10 inch, it's a 500 watt in the box type thing. It's a zone case and all that kind of thing. Was gonna get one of those, but um, decided not to after a while. But everything's working good. The top, it hasn't leaked or anything. Um, a few things I was gonna do to it. Um, was bedlining the floor and put the new um, door surround over there since I'll show you in just a second. Walk around here again. On this side, the top of the door up here is cracked, so I actually have a new door surround coming. 
Um, open up this side. Uh, still the same method. thing. Jump on in here. You can kind of see what they had done to it. I love the Jeep. It's been working out great. And um, but the big news coming is basically um, I am moving. Um, right now I live in Tennessee near Nashville, and I'm actually going to be moving out. Um, moving, I guess, away from my parents, away from life here in Tennessee. I'm actually moving to Alaska for a job. Yes, Alaska. That's on the other side of Canada, pretty much. On the other side of the world. I have family was up there, and so I'm going up there, moving out with some family, and have a job opportunity. And so I'm going to be moving in about two months. Since this is a February update, I should be moving mid-April, 1st of May. And I cannot take the Jeep with me, sadly. So the Jeep is going to be sold. I'm going to miss her. I'm going to be gone for up until August. And hopefully in August, I'll be getting another one. But I can't leave it here. I have nobody to leave it with. And so it is going up for sale. It's a very sad thing, but job comes first, family comes first. Um, one thing that might be happening is I might be selling this and getting a um, 2005 Grand Cherokee and uh, leaving here for my parents to have a vehicle. Uh, since this is, um, my mom has her car and my parents share that. And this is her second vehicle, but they hate driving it. They absolutely hate driving it. So, um, here she goes. Um, I'm, if you're anybody interested, if you're in the Tennessee area near Nashville, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Contact me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, anything like that. And I'll talk to you and tell you what I want for it. Um, you all know the work I've put into it all the time that we've done to it and but this I have a few more videos coming out soon on this uh, some stuff I've done to it so it's gonna be after this I'm gonna try to post this up today or tomorrow here in February before the end of the month um, but I appreciate all, all the work that uh, y'all have done for me on Instagram on on my Facebook page and on social here on YouTube I just appreciate you all so much and um, don't, don't be sad that this is gone um, I'm still going to be doing a lot more videos. Hopefully if I get that Grand Cherokee for my parents that I'll do some work upgrades and some work on that and I'll have some videos to post over the summer um, as well. Um, have some more videos coming out soon on some other stuff and I'll definitely be Instagramming it up while I'm in Alaska on my um, on our Instagram there and um, also if you want to follow me along I'm actually going to start vlogging my trip actually with the cam I'm using right now and so you can actually um, check me out at youtube.com slash Tyler the Entertainer uh, Tyler the Entertainer uh, you actually I'll leave a link down in the description and have an annotation so you can check me out there but um, I'm going to be vlogging through the summer probably not every day but every other day of just my experiences there in Alaska since it is one of the most beautiful states in, in the United States so I appreciate everything guys and girls and all you people out there and I really appreciate it um, go ahead and check out our Instagram our Facebook and all that good stuff and hopefully you all enjoyed the videos there's more to come and I will see y'all in the next